This is an animation of the progress of the Autosub Long Range, an autonomous underwater vehicle developed at the National Oceanography Center, on its most recent mission, its first mission, in uh, the Southern Ocean around Antarctica. So this animation was created using MATLAB to do a fly-through following the progress of the ALR after the fact, using data from the ALR itself. So that includes information about the heading, the pitch, the speed, the roll, as well as the propeller speed. And these were all used as inputs into creating this animation to show what did Bodie McBoatface actually do. You can also see just ahead there and a little bit earlier on, there was a cylindrical shaped item that was also in the water. This is a vertical microstructure profiler that was making concurrent measurements of small scale motions in the ocean while Autos Autosub Long Range was carrying out this three and a half day mission. So you can see as it's traveling along, these little red dotted lines are showing the path that it made down the side of Orkney Passage. And as it's going along here, it's measuring properties about the deep ocean currents, including their speeds, temperature, and salinity, as well as the very small scale motions, uh, the turbulent mixing that's occurring in the water as it's going along here. Those measurements are made out of the black cylindrical shaped item at the front of the auto sub. As it's going along here, it has a pre-programmed mission that's designed to bring it a very high resolution down the slope of Orkney Passage so that these, these near horizontal paths of the auto sub are about 250 meters spaced in the vertical. So it's giving really high resolution information about what the currents are doing all along this region. When it gets to the bottom of the, the, the sloping side of the Orkney Passage, it's going to cross over the sill. We'll see that in just a minute here. And as it does this, it's traveling through Antarctic bottom water that's making its way over the sill. Just at this moment, it's angled relative to the path that it's following because it's actually fighting those currents. If the auto sub were pointed directly down the path where it wants to go, the currents would blow it sideways. So it corrects for this by angling slightly into the currents and crabbing a bit sideways. The data from auto sub long range are going to be used to help us understand how deep water masses, how Antarctic bottom water, is being transformed as it flows through these narrow mountain passes in rivers and waterfalls on its way northwards to spread out through the rest of the world's oceans. This is an important part of understanding how climate change is influencing the deepest levels of the world's oceans. This deployment was part of the Dynamics of the Orkney Passage Outflow Project, a NERC-funded project led by Alberto Navarra Garabato of University of Southampton and in collaboration with the British Antarctic Survey. Auto Sub Long Range is developed at the National Oceanography Center by the Marine Autonomous and Robotic Systems Group.